Hello, my name is Julianne and I'm going to show you how to reformat a pixel art that you have either purchased from our Teachers Pay Teachers store, thank you so much, or have downloaded from our Facebook group. We format our pixel arts differently than a lot of the other pixel art creators on Teachers Pay Teachers, which means it's easier and quicker for you to reformat our pixel arts to suit any grade or any subject. So here is the pixel art. Here are the question columns which will be blank ready for you to put in your questions and that can either be number or text form. If you want to change the width of these you can simply move these bars along. Here are the answer columns and these cells here have been formatted to the answers on sheet two. So we have inputted all the formulas for you. All you need to have ready is your questions and answers. This one I have been reformatting for addition to 20. So I'll just finish it off and as you can see it is very easy to change the questions. Okay, so there's all my questions. I now need to go and change my answers to suit those questions. As you may notice, as I'm inputting my answers, the picture is disappearing. That is because the answers on sheet two are still formatted to one to 22. As you change the answers on sheet two to your questions, the picture will reveal again. this one you may notice the text is white that's because it's a dark color of a background and it's a lot easier for your student to see the answer that they are inputting Okay, that's all my questions and answers put in. We now need to go to sheet two to change the answers to fit your questions. Just a tip, if you take a screenshot of sheet one, it is a lot easier when you go to sheet two to put your answers in the order that you inputted them on sheet one. And if we check sheet one, as you can see the picture is now appearing as you change the answers to fit the questions. It is very important that you do input the answers in the same order as you did on sheet one because it is the answer box that is formatted to these answers. Nearly finished. By simply putting in these answers, you are reformatting this pixel art. So there we are. There's the picture complete. If there are any blank cells, just go back to sheet two and just check that the order of the, your answers are in the same order as here. So now if you click up here you can change 
the title or put a description in. Addition to 20. If you would like to change the font size um, or the colour here, very easy to do. So there's your pixel art complete. However, if you were to share this with your students, they could easily see there's a sheet to and then they've got access to the answers. So I'm going to show you three different ways of how you can hide the answers from your students. You can use all three or just one. So the first way, highlight your answers. Very simply, go to text colour and change the text to white. Now it looks like it's a completely blank sheet. So the next thing we can do is go to this drop down at the top of the column, click hide column. So it's EF, there's no G, H. And then the next thing we can do is go down to here, where it says sheet two, click on the drop down, hide sheet. So now if you were to share this with your students, they won't know that there's a sheet too. Also check the description and the title at the top. For example, this could have said unicorn pixel art, which would have give, given the picture away. So make sure you remove that. As you will have seen, it is very easy to change the questions and answers on our pixel arts. So now, if you have this addition to 20 ready and you want to make one for say your more able students for addition and subtraction to 20, all you need to do is file and make a copy and go through the steps that we have just gone through. So you could have the same activity in your class but differentiated to the abilities of your children. I'll just quickly show you how you can unhide everything. So go to view, sheet two, click up here to reveal the column and then up here to change the text color. And there's your answers ready to be changed and differentiated for your class. Well, thank you for purchasing or downloading our pixel art.